so uh i got my so i got my drinks lined up what do you got lined up there uh i don't know we're drinking again Uh, we had we had this conversation come on i got a bag of peanuts with reese's peanut butter cups where where are you are you in the kitchen i'm in the i'm in the garage why don't you go make yourself some drinks you know what i will yeah what are you gonna drink what are you gonna what are you gonna drink tonight I'm not even going to tell you. Why? I'm going to tell you what I'm having. So you're going to make fun of me. Well, uh, you might make fun of me. I'm going to have a glass of wine. Oh, that's that's a little faggy. What are, you, what are your shots going to be? I don't have anything. I used it all. What? You have no liquor in your house? No, I got to re-up. What, what, wait, you used all the, all the Terramana? I'm not drinking that again. Well, you, you're out of your mind. You, you got to have something. You got to, you got to, you, you can't. I got beer. I got vodka soda. Oh, I got vodka sodas already made. Yeah, drink. It's like in a can. Oh, uh, well, those are going to be, how are you going to, how are you going to do two shots? Oh, look at this. They're also no sugar added, only 100 calories, gluten free. Yeah, but they're, uh, you know. Yeah, but they're. How are you gonna do? We I thought we by the time those kick in, we'll have, you know the. Oh pot. wait 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 yeah. wait! Here we go. We have Bacardi Black. There we go. Problem solved. Problem solved. Bacardi Black. Problem solved. All right. Problem solved. All right. Pour them up, and then we'll do them together. I have. I honestly, I don't. I already forgot. I think uh, I forgot the brands. I think I got a for the one I'm gonna sip on later. It's a like a Grey Goose vodka with ice right but it's got like it's like peach flavored oh, okay but that's not bad no no and then i got two absolute vodka shots that are raspberry flavor i was like oh. I, I was like i just want something a little like you know not you know, straight i need a little fruit fruitiness today i to to get through this because uh right that, yeah there was, so i you know i mean i know we talked after but i had a I was like, I was messed up. I couldn't even sleep. My stomach was messed up. I was, yeah, bad news. It was bad news. Bad, bad All news. Way around. Bad news. Brown later was it, or just bad it news? Was. It was. It was bad news. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. First one. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. In down the hatch. One, two, three. Cheers. Oh shit. Oh, this one's not bad. This isn't bad actually. Oh, that didn't taste like raspberry at all. Yeah, this is nice, Bacardi Black. Not oh, too bad. My face is puckering. Mine's warm though, so like I, I like to keep mine in the freezer. This is warm. Warm, warm ain't bad yeah, for rum. Warm isn't bad. Warm. Oof. Yeah, but it's warm going down now into the chest cavity. Mm. Well, it's <laughs> it's it's warm going down the chest cavity even when it's cold. I'm burning. Oof. All right, that's All right. that was rough. I, I'm not gonna lie. I picked the wrong thing to fucking to do vodka shots. You're gonna go for two on this this. Uh, Drinking while podcasting. I thought that was going to be our new thing until it turned into a disaster. I thought. Well, I, I mean, thought we were. It is, but you're, we're. Over, you're. I. I mean, Terramon is not it. <laughs> Whatever oh. you're drinking is not it. We just got to find better alcohol. Well, I, it's getting used to it again. I haven't drank in like years. Like, like oh, no, I, I used know. to drink like drink often, like yeah. five nights a week. We used to do like I've been you know, drinking whiskeys like wine, and though. bourbons and stuff like that. Why? Yeah, not listen. We're drinking Moscato, a nice yeah, Moscato. Fucking, you could do that a with pink Moscato. You can do that when you have a girl over or whatever. But when you're when you're when you're doing a podcast with another man, we're not fucking. We're no. not doing wine. You're Come not. On. We're neither of us are fifty five years old yet. Okay. Wine is for that it's crowd. It's not bad. Wine, sitting around drinking a glass of wine while you're while you're watching your burn pit by your pool. Come on, I I know. Don't be a Larry. <laughs> don't be a Larry Lenz Bannon. Okay. Oh, 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 Larry, a lens joke in there. You threw a lens joke. I mean, that's a wow. He looks like a wine guy to me right now at this point well, in his Blake life. Blake would appreciate that. <laughs> Blake would appreciate a good lens joke. And it's early enough in the podcast where he might actually. Uh, right. Listen for it if we told him. All, All right. right, you got your second right. one there. I'm, I'm, I'm actually waiting for you here. Oh, okay. Go. I'm ready. One, two, three. Ready? Do it. Go. Woo! Oh God. Got the like goosebumps on that one. No, those were, <laughs> those were disgusting. 
the good. Right, so for my the, the good, my mixed drink, yeah, though, what yeah. are you gonna make? Well, I have I have, for my mix. I just have a, I just threw a bunch of ice in a cup and and poured a shot of a, of peach vodka so I'm gonna on there. So it's Bacardi, gonna be I'm gonna watered do, down. You just you just gonna do, I'm gonna do Bacardi Black with some Mr. Pib soda. Oh, that's Mr. what I'm Pib. about to do. That's that's the that's, yeah. that's the jam right there. Diet or regular? Regular. Oh. That's all I have. Right. Gotcha. And it's, not for nothing, it's a half drinking can, so it's not even like I. Uh, this is somebody else's half drinking can in the fridge. I'm gonna pour it in with some Bacardi Black and enjoy it like that. Uh, hopefully, it's not flat. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, it's flat. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. This fucking raspberry right. vodka was atrocious. I didn't right. even catch a hint of raspberry. I have a feeling that it's. It maybe it went bad or something. I don't know. No, it doesn't go bad. Well, I don't know, but uh, I'll, I'll say this: those two shots were emptied the bottle. It was like they were the the right. bottle literally had two shots left in it. Uh, so that's been sitting around a, a while. That that one's was. All right, well, I, I got my drink now. Yeah. I'm okay. Good. Well, you know, you don't we, have we to. We can start this podcast now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Let me just. I just wanted to taste okay. the peach one to make sure that yeah that one. That one's way better. Oh God. Okay. It, it was so probably go to. It, it was also like this is Grey Goose. I don't know if that's better quality. I think they're they're all not top shelf vodka. So, uh, yeah, well, Grey Goose is top quality. I don't know if it's top quality. I don't know. I, I drink Tito's. I like Tito's better than a Grey Goose, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, I got my peanuts with my. There's like, oh, I got. Reese's peanut butter cups, peanuts, mm. and little like chocolate covered peanuts in there. Yeah. Oh, so they're solid. Yeah. By so, the way, I was telling Huss, yeah. I was telling Huss the story that I wouldn't let you tell on the, uh, on uh, the podcast. I mean, he his he just he just the face he just his face just dropped and he looked at me and I was like yeah I I couldn't let him tell that on the air and he's like oh. <laughs> like his face like like I was telling him a horror story or something. <laughs> no, I won't tell it. Uh, yeah. So whatever. So I remember also remember I blanked yeah. I blanked out. Trying to you tell did. You. I I forgot what I was talking about. I remembered right from the last uh, from the last okay. show because uh, I was doing like the build up about how I met Jackie and et cetera et cetera uh, with my right. girlfriend up in Daytona, and then right I had a uh, uh, I th- I think I've only met Jackie one other time. He called me and asked if I wanted to come up to Tampa. And do spring training with him for a little bit. He said the WCW or someone was going to be in town. We could do some wrestling autographs. If you want to help me do uh, uh, like a day or two of spring training at the Yankees uh, facility. And oh, we'd, in we'd, Tampa. And we'd drive over to a couple of other uh, – because a lot of spring training camps are in places in, in, that area. in central and, yeah. and northern Florida. So, right. uh, so I drove up uh, four hours it took me to get there uh, in – it was like a, there was a hurricane coming down the west coast of Florida at the time. So I was driving in my Jeep, which is kind of like a box, with these hurricane-like level winds trying to blow me off the road. I'm driving at night in the rain with like the like the, the hurricane was <laughs> offshore. It wasn't like going to hit land. Yeah, but but it was. But you still got the wind. And yeah, the yeah, yeah. It. And I went up. At, at, but that was so. So that was I'd only met him twice, and the third time I call him. And I go, listen, mm-hmm. my girlfriend and I broke up and I have uh, uh, her ticket to the Bruise Cruise, the WCW Bruise Cruise, which was a, a, a like a four day, three night uh, cruise in the right. in, cruise. in the Car- right. Caribbean. Uh, right. on like, I don't know if it was Carnival or whatever. And they had like right. f- five or six WCW wrestlers on it and some events and some stuff like that. And I was like, all, all you need to pay for is whatever it costs to change the name and you can go. And he's like, well, I just got off the, <laughs> I got, I did like the week before the WWE Wrestle Festival had gone out to see. <laughs> he literally uh-huh. got off that with his wife. He, he dropped her off at home and, to, and to, because he was excusing it as work, I'm going to get autographs, et cetera, et cetera. He literally dropped her oh off and went on another 40 cruise with me. He went back to back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, 
Like literally like, like two weekends in a row or something like that. Uh, right. So anyways, the reason I said it was because you were talking about having the room with the girl whose name we won't mention. <laughs> and, right. and you wouldn't let Johnny Vandal in there. But somehow Seth was in there uh, right. uh, pretending right. to sleep while you were uh, you were uh, practicing gymnastics. And uh, right. I just remember being on that cruise. And the first night I met this chick that I had spotted earlier. It was like the only hot chick. Like – like back then, re- wrestling fans were a little less like across the board. So finding a really hot chick was was a little rarer. But I found this chick, and yeah, I, I, I watched her. I watched all these wrestling guys buy her drinks all night, and then the all, they the idiots like all went to the bathroom at the same time together and left her alone. And she had been looking at me, and I've been looking at her. And I walked over. I said, "You want to get out of here?" And she's like, "Yeah." And I like literally scooped her out. From, Look at you just throwing the game from under these guys. Dude, on the cruise with nothing to lose, baby. Right. You know, come on. So, so, and then, and then that night I took her back and I, I, uh, you know, I, uh, Jackie was pretending to sleep in the bed and I just, we just did our own, uh, we, you know, we, we had our own gymnastics. Tango, little tango, yeah. 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 In the shower, in the bed, wherever. And, uh, you know, so I, I, when you were telling me about the set thing, that reminded me of this, but I had to preamble it with why I was on a cruise with Jackie. Uh, to to get to work. right yeah so I I too had uh you know one of those with with I, he swears he was sleeping but you know come on come on come he on. wasn't sleeping he's fucking liar come on yeah I look yeah look we've all been there not listen we've that was that was like some really loud that that had been like the equivalent of some really loud construction work right outside your window at seven in the morning you know there's no way yeah. you're sleeping through that fucking uh, that jackhammering. <laughs> Right, yeah, he's bullshit. He was sleeping. <laughs> you know those cabins; they're not fucking like. No, right. You know, it's right. like he could probably older paper thing too, and you're like literally, you probably were almost laying in the same bed. No, he he probably could have just. Uh, I think the I think the beds were such where like, they were both coming off one corner, so he could probably just right. snuck his foot out from under his covers and shot it over like a foot and tickled my foot. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I was gonna say he probably could have he probably could have reached over and. And tickled your underside while you were, uh, like you know, he could have been playing a game. His foot could have touched my foot, but that's about it. And and so, uh, yeah. so, uh, you know, that would have been hilarious, and I would have done that to him. But he, he, he's, right. you know, he's a little more reserved than I am. Uh, you know, yeah, he doesn't even think farts are funny. So I don't, you know, he was, listen, he was, yeah, you know, he was, whatever, a strange bird. I see you. Uh, he was. I see. I see you've been. Uh, you're doing the the Nutella, the Nutella, Nutella, Nutella thing now. I moved to the Nutella. So you went I from one on. one chocolate spread to ba- another. Yeah. This is your whole thing. Yeah, you're, why not? You've like you've like given up on TikTok. I look, both, but no, because the Cadbury video had a hundred and fifty thousand views. The Nutella is over a hundred thousand. Yeah, I noticed that. You, you know. You need to start uh, putting our tagline in there, but uh, I put it on. I put it on the one I posted. But I got a story for you, pal. Okay, I'm gonna. You know, I, I'm. I don't even care if you're gonna pat me on the back because I'm patting myself on the back for what happened today. So, are you ready for this story? This is gonna be a Barry Horowitz level story, huh? Oh, totally, totally. Okay. Uh, only I will care about it. Right. Uh, so I'm at work. Is that today, good for a podcast, um, though? <laughs> No, it's it's a good story. So okay. <laughs> I'm I'm leaving work and I'm walking like down the aisle towards the front doors, and this man is walking towards me. He's probably about six three, uh, big guy. Um, he's walking with a cane, uh, older older gentleman, and he's wearing a Macho Man Randy Savage shirt. So anybody in the wrestling, like you, immediately, you know, you got it. It's like the Jeep wave, you know, you got, you both have a Jeep, you wave at each other. Or like bl- you've got to interact. Or flashes your lights or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. You got to interact. Mm-hmm. He's wearing a mod. And it's not even a, it's not like he's wearing a Roman Reigns shirt. Cause I wouldn't say anything. If, so, if someone was wearing a Roman Reigns shirt or like a new age wrestler, I probably wouldn't say it's anything. Like, you no, know, maybe if it was a bullet club or. Like when you were wearing you know, the breakfast club shirt and the guy right. gave you the too sweet. Gave you the too sweet. Right. Yeah. So. I'm like, all right, I got to say something to this guy. And I said, hey, man, love your shirt. And he said, well, I appreciate it. He goes, he was, a, he was a legend, you know, one of the best. And I said, said he was one of the best. I said, I got a good story for you. And he's like, yeah. I said, I wrestled for Macho Man. He said, what? 
so now you know now I'm putting myself over. And I said, uh, yeah, I said uh, I was a pro wrestler. Uh, he said, how long did you wrestle for? And I said, I mean, 20 years. I said, I just had my last match in October. Yeah, you can, of, as was, you said, since October. You know. <laughs> right. And then he says, he says, oh, you wrestled in October. Did you win? And I said, of course I went over. I lied to him. Oh. You know, I mean, you know. And, and you know. Listen, I, I, be I careful. Billy, Billy's been rearing, rearing his ugly head He's, lately. He has been. His old ass head, so. Be careful. I didn't want to tell the guy the truth and be like, look, I had to put the old man over, you know, it was like a going away present, you know, kind of thing. But uh, I was like, he was like, man, so you wrestled for Macho Man. And I said, yeah. I said, we, you know, I told him the story how, uh, and I'm name dropping. I go, you do not watch wrestling. I said, you know MVP? He goes, of course I know MVP. I go, oh, he's a friend of mine. I said, we came up together. I mean, what? I mean, you guys don't call yeah. each other or anything like that. No, I mean, you know, like, I mean, maybe comment on an Instagram post here and there right, and right, right. comment back yeah, or yeah, yeah. whatever, but. That's yeah, more than most. That's well, enough. Was, That's enough. Yeah. I was using it to my advantage, but I, I mean, I do know the guy. I spent almost every day with him for like two years. Right. Uh, like I can, you know, some of, like stories upon stories. And some of them, he wasn't even trying to kill you. <laughs> right. Only a couple times. So. He, uh, I told the guy, I said, we came up together. And he said, whoa, my God. So uh, I, he said, well, what's the story with Macho Man? So I told him, hey, we were able to do this. Macho Man was doing this internet wrestling show. and um, It was his was show? Something. Macho Man was trying to do this new, new concept where we filmed wrestling matches with no crowd. But we, as wrestlers, uh, acted like there was a crowd there. We played to the crowd. There was no crowd. And then he was going to superimpose him, like basically Photoshop a crowd in, and this was all going to be sold on the internet. That that was his idea. You know, they call this customs. Right, right. it was fucking horrible. <laughs> so uh, yeah, well, at least I didn't have to like take my clothes off or something, and like you know, take a Bronco Buster. Right, but, like uh, like like. Let's explain what customs are for a second. Right, explain that. Yeah. So customs are. Uh, this type of thing where uh, it's basically like you pay to see the match you want to see. So they will, you'll, right. you'll go on the online and there'll be a selection of people and you're going to, you'd be like, it would, it's, you know, you pay X amount to see this person wrestle this person. And now, you know, depending what, what, who's putting these on and who's doing these, these could be legit where it's people in, in wrestling gear. It could be girls in lingerie. It could, right. if you're really paying, it could be something you could let your mind wander and, and it probably, whatever you come up with could happen. But, uh, but mostly it's, it's legit. It's just people paying a la carte for like a custom wrestling match that is right, sent right. only to you. You no nobody else sees it. And so sometimes it's weird where some guy wants, you know, well, I want to see a wrestling match with 10 suplexes in a row, or I want to, right. see, or I want to see this guy, you know, and this guy do it in their underwear or, you know, well, whatever it is, but it's, it, you know, and, and, and it's an opportunity. Guys like Alex, guys like Alex Chamberlain love it. Adrian, Adrian did a few and beast did a few, but, yeah. uh, uh, but it's like, sometimes it's a way for a promoter to supplement their event. They'll have an event that night, but they've got the, they've got the building and the ring all day. So they'll take mm -hmm. custom orders ahead of time and they'll film those before the show that night. And everyone makes some money, extra money. And then you, have, right. then you have the live show at night. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's a practical thing for some people that can't actually promote a show and draw people. Um, so, but everyone, but it's good so for some people make a lot of money doing right. custom matches and there's nothing wrong with that. So anyway, go ahead. Anyway. Yeah. So this was not customs, but anyway, right, right, his right. idea. Sounded like it though. Well, but he had real workers there. So, uh, I mean, I was there, so I don't know if that really counts, but, uh, Byron Saxton was there. Who is now WWE announcer or commentator. Um, you know, you had a couple guys from Japan that were there at the time. Uh, um, what's the Guerrero? Not Chavo. What's the other Guerrero? Hector? Hector was there. Uh, he was like a coach. Uh, you had Steve Kern there. You had Jimmy Del Rey. Um, you know, it was a lot of older, old school wrestling. Just, you know, just good people. There was, uh, there was just a lot of people hanging around there. But anyway, 
Macho Man, it was his concept, his idea. And it was going to be on MachoMan.com, and he was going to put these, you know, this crowd in. And so you had to, like, you're wrestling in a, in a warehouse where there's nobody, there's no crowd, but you had to do your entrance. You had to come out like there was a crowd. You had to, like, look at the crowd. There's no crowd, but you're looking at the crowd like, come on, you know, like the whole deal. Was it green screen? Super strange. There was, we were literally in a wrestling ring in a warehouse. Like, They'd have a, so but like no green background or how are they going to no. put a crowd? <laughs> no, no, no. I no, didn't no think thought that part through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So anyway, we, uh, you know, we, we do the show and it was me, Eric and, and Hassan, who's MV, MVP in WWE right now. Um, we, uh, we did the, the first taping or whatever. And it was like, you know, we wrestled like three matches each. So it was like you taped, it was, it was a long night and, at the end, you know, Macho Man had come. He pulled me, Eric, and, and MVP aside, and he was like, "Hey, you know, uh, nobody's getting paid for this gig, but you know, I'm gonna pay you guys." And he gave us a check, like basically, you know, split the check. We got in the car, and I've told this story before. And the three of us were like, "Man, we can't cash this. We should like frame this, you know." Fucking Macho Man just paid only us three out of all these guys to wrestle. Um, and at the time, Macho Man had the Macho Man Hummer. That's what he was driving. It was a black Hummer yeah, with like yeah, space yeah. on it, MachoMan.com. So he had given you know he had given us this check, and we got to the gas station, and we realized the three of us had no money in our pocket. We were broke, like we were so broke. Um, so we had to cash the check the next morning because we wouldn't have been able to like right. survive the rest of the week out of town. So uh, we cashed the check, whatever, and then we went back. So, uh, Macho Man called us so, though, that so, night. So here's yeah. a, here's a question: How much was mm -hmm. the, how much was the check for? It, it was like uh, three hundred bucks or five hundred bucks, somewhere in that, that was, range. It wasn't bad. No, that's respectable, right. man. It, it got us through because we had to wrestle that next. We were wrestling in Tampa, like, uh, like that was like on a Wednesday, and then we had like a show Thursday somewhere, and then Tampa Friday, it's like, and then we had to go back to Fort Lauderdale Saturday. But we just needed money to get us to hold us over from Wednesday to. Thursday this, show where we would get paid and Friday show where we would get was paid. Was this you mid know? mid 2000s or something? Mid 2000s, yeah, okay. right. Or early 2000s, something like that. So we we did it. We got in the car. He called us like, you guys were all great. We loved it. Uh, Hector Guerrero pulled me aside the first night after the first match. We were going out for the second match. We were like getting ready and he grabbed me by my arm and he pulled me in and he, he whispered in my ear. And I, I won't forget it because I, I actually – like I was young and I really thought this is really creepy. And I don't know if he's trying to fuck me or if he really thinks that I'm good, but he grabbed me and he said, Hey, I just want to let you know, you got it, man. I really believe like you got what it takes. And I was like to be in this business. And I was like, thanks. Now, you know, no, he's, I think he didn't want to, no, that was legit. Me. There's no doubt. There's legit. No, he wanted to fuck I mean, me. I mean, high, I was going <laughs> to, I was, I was going to, I was going to make a joke and say high praise from the gobbledygooker, but Hector's right. Hector's a, a great worker and uh, he's, he's been in the business worker, forever. Right. He's been in the business right. forever. So, right. no, but a uh, great guy. Yeah. So anyway, we uh, he called us that night, Macho Man. You know, great job. Blah blah blah. We came back the next. Does week he? To film like that. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep interrupting. When he calls you guys on the phone, is he is yeah. he in the voice or is it or does so, he? Ever... So that voice. It's funny because the guy that I was talking to today said I heard Randy was always in character. I said it wasn't a character like. He literally talked like that, like when we were talking to him outside or during the show. Right, but but he, he didn't originally sound like that, like like before no, he, he like morphed into right, this right. character. Right, right. He be, yeah, he became yeah. real life. Uh, yeah, life imitated right. art. Yeah, okay. Right, right. And and he he when he called, uh, I never forget because Hassan answered the phone. He called Hassan's phone and he said, uh, "Yes, sir." He goes, "It's Randy." So he called him. He was Randy. So. And the three of us were like, you know, fucking marking out. Like, we just got done working for him. Now he's calling us back, you know, making sure he was making sure we were okay. Uh, he actually had asked, like, was that enough money? Is that okay? And we were like, yes, sir. You know, yeah, thank you. You know, um, like, he genuinely cared that we were okay. But he said he didn't pay anybody else. And, you know, I think he saw something in Hassan and knew that, like, Hassan had a chance to really make it in the wrestling business because he's, you know, good shape. He's a pretty decent sized guy. So we went back the next week or week or so and we did it again. Same thing. Uh, 
and then he gave us t-shirts that night but he only had them in size small hmm? like in his car and they were macho man.com t-shirts like they wouldn't have fit any for any of us and uh we just took them because we thought it was cool and i have the t-shirts so like lex has worn this t-shirt before nick has worn this t-shirt as they were you know because this was before they were born so when they were born like they had worn it nick had worn it and then lex started wearing it i still have it um but macho man physically handed me that t-shirt so i was like i'm never getting rid of this right. like he was like it he was like an idol of like I thought he was like one of the best ever. WrestleMania three versus Ricky Steamboat was it's one of the greatest matches ever. And I saw live in Miami. If you ever if you ever have my dad on this podcast and you ask my dad, or you see my dad in person and you say to my dad, "What is the best wrestling match you've ever seen live?" He will say, "Miami Steamboat Savage." They went like thirty minute time limit draw and steamboat bled and it was a house show and it was one of the best wrestling matches i've ever seen live like yeah. it was insane uh and after the show we had gone down to the ring and you know there was like blood on the canvas and and uh you know we were, we were like kind of like at the ringside just watching them like take things apart and a couple guys had come over and my dad was like that was the best match i've ever seen live to this day he like never forgot that match it was right. that good but it was two. It was two of the best ever. So yeah. Uh, anyway, honestly, like of my like of my favorites, they're two. Right. Those two are two of my all time favorites. Those two, I think Bret Hart. I the the Bret Hart. You know, same with me, yeah, Bret Hart. I mean, other Shawn than Michaels to me too, no, but. I can't. I I like the personal stuff gets in the way for me. I can't. I well, can't. The I'm guys, talking about in the ring. I understand, but I can't get past it. He's a piece of shit. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a total <laughs> piece of shit. But uh. Mm. Like Macho, like for all the times that Jackie and I, like the four years that we did autographs right. and traveled to Southeast, whatever, like that guy never said no to fans. Like, like, was, really? like him and him and Hogan, like, listen, pick your spots. Don't go up there while they're in mid, like eating a burger or something, obviously. Like, right, don't, right, right. don't interrupt them when they're conducting life. But when they're like walking to a car or Oh, never been told no from either of those guys ever they sign everything they take pictures macho macho like like they say don't meet your idols but macho was like my all-time favorite wrestler always was like i you right. know i remember the feud uh with ricky steamboat where and george animal right. got involved and stole elizabeth yeah. and all that shit i re like that was when i first got into wrestling as a kid and that's the shit I rem still remember. Right. Really Never day. forget that. And like meeting him was like, like the first time I met him, I was like, like, like nobody, like, like there's nobody on earth that I would have, there's nobody on earth I would be more nervous to meet than that guy still to this day. And the guy was never right. anything but cool with us. I met him. I must have met him a dozen times. I've got like two pictures with him, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I'll tell you also the other super coolest person. In WCW, I mean, like a lot of them were cool. Surprisingly, right. Lex, Lex Luger, Nash, all of them were super cool. Um, but Elizabeth was like, really? Oh my god, what an! I mean, they were already divorced, you know, but they were both yeah. in the company and whatever. She was the best. I mean, in a in wow. a in a company of people that were cool with us because they knew us or were familiar with our faces at least, could not. I could not put someone higher than Miss Elizabeth. Like that's so it even like makes me wow. it's even making me sad right now thinking that like she died about her. so many years yeah. ago. Like cuz like thanks, thanks Luger. Cuz like yeah. dude, that like such a fucking great person. Uh inc yeah. incredibly well, great person. And and so I I'm telling everything I've just told you, I literally told this guy today standing in the middle of the store like I was trying to go home, but it was this cool and he was blown away. And now here comes the part where I'm going to, you're going to put me over for. I'm so he was good. blown away. Yeah. He was blown away. And he goes, man, you should have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is the only thing he said after that whole story is, man, you should have a podcast. And I said, I do have a podcast. <laughs> He's like, what? And I, he goes, you talk about wrestling. I said, we talk about wrestling Just and we talk about food. Yeah. And I said, we talk about food. And he he, he's a bigger guy and he was like well, i love both and i said who doesn't like right so i gave him the, the website 
and uh, that's why downloads were up today. <laughs> well, because that, that was a, that was about yeah, that was like this this late afternoon. So yeah. uh, if he if he listens to this podcast, it was really nice meeting you. And uh, hey, welcome to the to the Breakfast Club. Yeah. So uh, yeah, um, but it was cool to it's cool to see a Macho Man shirt in public. Not not like a current guy, you know. It was. Right. I, I always I always mark out more for the old school stuff. So I'm like, oh my like you know, if I see someone I've seen a guy once around here wearing a Bret Hart shirt and I'm like, Okay, like you gotta have to go up to him. Like I, I gotta be the you know, the kids are like, Why? I'm like, Why? This guy's got a Bret Hart shirt on. He knows his shit. Right. Like, you don't just wear a Bret Hart shirt around. Like right. then, you know, then, now, I will tell you if you if you, you may just... wear a whole Colgan shirt around, but you're not gonna wear a Bret Hart shirt around. Right, right, right. You right. know? You have to yeah, you come from a different right. a different club, a different fraternity, a different like uh, a smaller right, group right. of people that are that like if like again like you said like the Jeep Club flashing lights at each right. other and stuff, you know. Right, uh, right. You know, Hulk Hogan so, is like a Toyota Corolla. Every Corolla doesn't wave to each other. They'd be busy. They right, they'd have to exactly. they they literally have to drive with one arm hanging this, out the this window. This may be you the know? best analogy on a podcast ever. <laughs> you just called Hulk Hogan a Toyota Corolla. Of wrestling, it couldn't be any more perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any more perfect. Yeah. Well, Hulkamaniacs is what you know the 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 fan base. The right. you know whatever. So right. it's funny because the last like wrestling shirt I wore regularly was this gray. Uh, Macho Man shirt I got at Old Navy, and uh, I wore it way past. It's like like I had gotten paint on it, it right. got ripped and whatever. It was like but you didn't want to get rid of it. No, fuck no. Right? Because I because yeah. well, listen, and here's the thing. It's like what do I do now? Do I buy some fucking like uh you know current uh licensed Macho Man shirt? Uh, that's like, it's, right. you know, it's like, nah, you, you, I, like if I want another Macho Man shirt, I, I almost have to just go find a vintage shirt, you know? Right. I, I feel like <laughs> and it would so be I, wrong. I did recently just, I just bought a, I was scrolling on Instagram and uh -huh. this ad popped up and it was a Wu-Tang Clan shirt with Macho Man on it, but it's not a Wu-Tang Clan shirt. It's a Macho Man shirt and it's, but it has the Wu-Tang logo and it's, Wu, and it says the cream always rises to the top. I bought it. Like I instantly bought it. That's I like it it's, so. It's like a bootleg thing. Yeah, but I okay. bought it and it got here quickly. That's cool. and uh, it, it's macho on the shirt and it's like a great picture of him and uh, I was like, I gotta have this shirt. And I also bought the uh, um, macho ward on TV. Who'd he ever beat? Who'd you ever beat? Shirt. Right. I bought that because I was like, that's cool. Like, who'd you ever be? Right. You know, you walk around in public and only a few people may get it. But again, that's a shirt where if someone gets it, they come up to you and be like, Oh, I love the shirt. Right. 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 You know, you know, and I gotten that a couple of times with that shirt. Oh, I love the shirt, man. You know, they know, you know, you give the little tip of the hat and you know, you know each other, you know, you guys are good. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like you're in the club. Right. But, uh, so I told this guy, he, he listens to the podcast, you know, he's going to listen to the podcast. So, you know, if you're listening, welcome to the Breakfast Club. We if, talk about food, poop, uh, wrestling. If, if you're listening, you know. we're running a clearance on our old merchandise, fifty percent okay. off. <laughs> Go to yeah. the website; links are everywhere. Uh. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, and uh, now the podcast numbers may also be up because I put it on my second video today. There we go. To check out my podcast. Did you mention so it, I'm, or I'm did you, put, or did you no, put it in text? I wrote it. I hate when I you do that. Listen, every but it doesn't matter. Hey, listen, every TikTok needs to end with one line. Check out my podcast, link in bio. E easy. It, easy. It, it works. You're just easy. you're telling me the numbers are up, but you don't want to admit why now. They're up, but they're, I, I mean, did, I mean, I did two. I did two things today to put over the podcast. Two. Two. That's two more than Marco did. That's two more than Blake did. You've are, done are, way than more than are two. Either, I'm not gonna... Are either of them actually even considered participants in this experiment anymore? No, I mean honestly, I, is Marco even like alive today? Because I don't know. I like we haven't even heard from him after his post this morning that he like catered the world. I, so. Actually, technically, downloads were up early today and stalled. So don't 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 worry about it. Don't bury horror with yourself, patting yourself on the back. Ooh, oh, here I, we go. You got to bring me back down. I had I had a hard time saying Horowitz. The uh, the vodka's kicking the, in. The vodka's kicking in. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll tell you, it's a lot easier to tell stories when you know. I know when you're a little loose. We just we just yeah. have to we do have to police each other a little bit because we don't want to have to pull an episode down the next day because we've realized well, we did something terrible, terrible. Well, I mean, look, I, look, we 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 can't we. <laughs> I, I, I did, uh, you know, I told you this today, I made a TikTok, and all I said in this TikTok was, it's diabetes on a plate, and boy, did I piss off the Diabetes right, but, Association of America. But, it, but, but like, but like, it was like a, a really, like, unhealthy, sweet food. It was like Nutella right, right. and, well, it was like chocolate spread and syrup on pancakes. Yeah. It's like, right. like, anyone that gets, like, offended by you saying that's diabetes on a oh, plate. Oh, they were offended. It's like, so like you don't know the difference between type one and type two. Somebody even who said cares? I liked you until they wrote somebody wrote I liked you until you said that in this video. And I'm like, what? But then she proceeded to like like the last six of my videos. So I'm like, wait a second. You know what, what? happened? She probably <laughs> found that one, found a little outrage, ran her mouth, and then decided right. to see what else can I yell at him about and then like actually fell in love with you because you like uh Right, you know, right. you, you were dancing in your bathroom or something. Yeah. Right. And I, I just, I mean, it wasn't like a shot at diabetics. It was. No. It was. I was just making a joke. No, you were like, saying this is un- so much sugar. This is unhealthy. Right. Yeah. God and they're forbid. like, oh, there's two different kinds of diabetes. Who cares? Type one and two. Who cares? You should have. People, there was numerous people that were like, you should have been very descriptive and said it was type two. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, like, oh, this is a plate of type two diabetes. Is that what I was going to say? Like, I wish. Ridiculous. The the problem with TikTok is that in the comments section, you can reply with another TikTok, but you right. can't reply with just an image. I have that great no. image of Wilford Brimley, who did those great diabetes commercials back whenever. Well, you can reply with an image. Yes, you can. You can? You All you have to do is uh, you got to use one of the filters. And it lets you pick a picture. And yes, you just hit record and it records the picture. Because I got that great I got that great photo. It's of Wilford Brimley riding a horse with like a gun, right. with like a rifle in his hand. And like the woods behind him are exploding like they got napalmed. Right. And it's from a Van Damme movie. I forget which one it is. It's the one where he went to New Orleans. And uh right. and uh it just has him galloping on a horse with a exploding forest behind him. <laughs> Nice. With an exploding force behind him. And in like Indiana Jones lettering, it, occur- it just says diabetes. <laughs> diabetes? <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't believe people were offended by This is a 60 second video where one line about 45 seconds, 50 seconds in is, oh, this is a plate of diabetes right here. Like, I mean, I don't even understand. This how- is This is the offended generation. This is like... Like, right. like the like I don't know, man. Like, God, God forbid, these people had to go through like basic training in the 1970s or something. They'd have all like right. they'd have all gone to the psycho ward with mental breakdowns or something. I just like saw. Yeah, no, it, it yeah, it was. Uh, I was like, wow, you know. And then a couple other people made diabetes. Like, like, well, that that is. I got a, I got diabetes just looking at it. And then people yeah, yeah, yeah. attacked them for their comment. Yeah. Like, how could you say that? And, like what's you know, a, what's so person, sacred? The, it's it's not. I don't know. Yeah, but, it's not like you called someone a retard thing, or something. It's like no, <laughs> right? And then one person had commented back and was like, "I have diabetes and I think it's hilarious. Right? Like, I don't understand right. what you're <laughs> what you're buttered for." I think you and I right. both have the whichever one is the is the diet version of diabetes. So two, we, type two. I learned yeah. that. I've learned my lesson. It's type two. I think you and I both have type two diabetes, so we can Probably. we 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 should have carte blanche to fucking call I mean, my dad has call it, so. a call a, st- a stack of sticky pancakes diabetes on a plate. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, and, and, and it's funny because I I took like a couple bites for the video. I threw the pancakes away. They were so it was so sugary that I was like I was like oh my god this is sickening like I couldn't even eat it. Like I literally could not eat it. That's how it was so like so sweet. I was like, I cannot eat this. Yeah. So I threw it away. Yeah. I. I, I yeah. I. I just. I. I would like to assume that a lot of what you eat on TikTok is one bite and into the trash can. But I know better. I think. Uh, I so think... M- most is one bite and into the can, but. Uh, yeah. if it's something I really like. I finish it all. You know? <laughs> well, you. I think but... there's a lot you really like, though, pal. 
Uh, let's not go there. By the way, uh, yeah. What, what was uh, uh, Speedy gave a update on his uh, weight loss thing the other day? Did we didn't we didn't yeah. did we cover that? No, uh, no. He he's down. He's down. But so am I. So we're it's it's a race now. Now it's a race. It was well, it's it a was race a marathon, and I think we're turning into a race now. Well, here's the thing. I remember that we said like first that loses twenty pounds. So it's a race to twenty. Right. Uh, right, it's the longest race to twenty ever. He, I, f- I forget what he started at. I'm gonna have to do some research, but he's down to two seventy five point eight. I think he's down. Yeah, all right. All right. I think he's down like six ish pounds. Okay, what am maybe, I down? Maybe I more. Know. I don't. I don't know. He's. I don't know. I'm not keeping track of you either. We need to. We need to do some uh, some forensic accounting here. Because uh, I don't think anyone's yeah, really. I don't even know. But the row track. machine's set up. I just haven't used it yet. Right, right. It's been together for uh, what, like a week? When did yeah, you, yeah, yeah. When did your kid earn that five bucks? Yeah, a week, a week. And and a couple s- of days. still, yeah. you haven't you haven't rode. I'm looking at it right now. It's beautiful. <laughs> but it's just, it's... Why I'm not are you, ready? I'm not ready. Why are you doing this in the garage, by the way? Because I'm in the kitchen and he's following Nick. Is, Nick the dick is following me. I come outside. He follows me. He was just out here dancing. As we're talking, and I'm like telling him, well, as I'm talking to you, I'm giving him the finger to go inside. So he went inside. Why is he following you? What's what weird? Fuck, because he's hungry, and you know he's 17 years old and doesn't know how to make food. I thought he had to go so, get a job and earn his own food at this point. Well, nobody wants to hire him. I'm like, oh, I wonder why. They probably listened to the podcast and got word. Oh, so he he so, so he's telling stories that they're not they're not hiring. Well, he called Publix back to say, "Hey, did he did he do it in front of you? Did he do it in front of you? Yeah, he did. Okay, I just uh, want to make sure too. And he, uh, he, yeah, they said that they were gonna, you know, Florida. They're still looking at applications. There, what it is is a lot of companies cut hours right now, and you know, but they're a little slow on hiring. So I don't know, but we'll see. He wants to work. It's not that he doesn't. He wants to work this week to buy shoes, which I think is the stupidest thing in history." So, well, it it teaches you to earn money f- to pay for your your shit. I mean, it's right, better than right. him wanting shoes and just as expecting you to buy them for him. That's that's, right. that's way better. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I agree. But uh, he knows the end is near. He knows the end. Man, is near. I am burping up this this uh, Bacardi Black like nobody's Bro, business this, right now. This uh, so how is it? I think I'm gonna throw up. How is it with Flat Mister Pib? By the way. So uh, there's an update to this. Uh-huh. So I, I took the pib out of the fridge and it was flat. Uh-huh. Uh, I added a little more Bacardi as we were talking and it was a little strong. So now I panicked because I'm like, well, I, I looked and there was a, <laughs> this is bad. There was a bottle, a little small bottle of Dr. Pepper open. So I poured that in too. So we have a mixture of black Bacardi with Mr. Pib and Dr. Pepper, both flat. So this so this has no it's literally flat. So that's what we're drinking right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm almost done with it. And I'm burping it up over here. I'm pretty much done with this peach vodka, watered down peach yeah. vodka. But it's yeah. And and by the way, it's been while a chore. We were podcasting. Yeah, you didn't even know I'm outside in my you know my uh, my forest of a home over here, and uh, I I had a pee and I didn't want to go inside, so I just like went into the woods and just. I just peed. Hey, you didn't even hear it. They're your woods. So. You can piss. I, I, I oh, yeah. There's nobody. I have no neighbors. I'm not going to lie. Good. I would probably, if I was in your situation, like if I had a yard, backyard yeah. and like some trees, I would probably go out and piss in the backyard a lot. Like, So I kind of want to I kind of want to build a tree house. <laughs> for That's you? There. For me. <laughs> for me, yeah. <laughs> like, like a getaway from like, you know, children. I can... They could be looking for me, and I'll be in the treehouse, like locked in. Yeah, but they're gonna look yeah. out the fucking back door, and they'll see the light on in there. <laughs> It'd be yeah. funny. <laughs> like I could, I could picture that the treehouse would literally be like exactly like the one in like Stand by Me. It would have like the same yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> juvenile shit in there, like a fucking, yeah. you know, like like some fucking centerfold some, picture. Some of those old stretchy wrestling dolls. And uh, yeah. the LJNs or whatever, and uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a couple of fucking porno mags that are well worn, right. and uh, beanbag chairs, and you know, uh, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, but I, I just I had to let you know I took the pee, and, and you know what? I'm going to dedicate that pee to our good friend CJ. 
uh, two episodes in a row. She was she was very appreciative of my last uh, P shout out, so I'll give her another one. But she's so. was that a kink of hers? She likes a, she likes hearing a good oh, no, no, strong stream actually, or something. No, no, she was actually not. She was like, "That's the shout out I get when you're peeing." <laughs> and and then I said that uh, said something about that she loves us, and she said, "No, I actually hate both of you uh, evenly." <laughs> so yeah. Oh, that is what it is. Yeah. Well, you know, she's she's Canadian. So. I haven't I haven't taken a good shot at Canada in a while, so. You haven't what? I haven't taken a good shot at Canada in a while. I don't know why she's mad. At no, me. right, 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 you know. right. Or maybe I have, yeah. and I just I just do it so offhand that it's like someone that's not aware of their racism. You know, they just right. say shit and don't aren't aware of it. Just say maybe right, that's how right. I am with Canada. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, well. Yeah, I got nothing else. I, I I'm I'm storied out. Well, well, I've got. Uh, are we gonna? We're not gonna do a podcast until after the the pay per view. Well, actually, we're probably before the pay per view. But we got that big AEW deal. Do, uh, we, no, but that's what night is that? Sunday or Sunday? Saturday? It's Sunday. I just realized. Oh, that. you know, it, okay. it confuses me because neither of those companies could get their act together. What, right. Both of them are running on Saturdays or Sundays. It's arbitrary. It's all over the place. Right, right. I, I, right. I can't like I can't schedule my life around this shit anymore. So, yeah, yeah, no, I agree. But I, I have a feeling, well, uh, uh, or at least uh, as of like a couple of days ago, uh, Blake was definitely sniffing around to invite himself and a lady friend over for it. So, which I hope happens because uh, then we can you know hear stories about the lady friend on the. Uh... Not the next podcast, but the podcast after, because I'm I'm sure there's going to be a story story about Blake eating garlic bread without anybody else, you know, bringing anybody else any. Oh, him and his something well, like that. We may get lucky this time because his he'll have a a girl coming with him that might have some common sense about coming over someone else's house and say like, listen, let's uh, let's bring them something as well, or let's ask them if they want anything, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, because so here's what I think you guys should do. The best rib of all yeah. is if he comes and brings the girl. Did you, did you switch like your headphones? Or something? I did. My headphones died. All right, you got loud. Now I'm on the phone. I'm on. I'm on the phone like it's 19, like 99. I have to hold it to my ear. You sound way uh, better like this, by the way. By the way. Yeah, I don't want to hold it here though. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, whatever. So anyway, here's the plan. Blake comes. He brings the lady friend. Let them get comfortable on the couch. Marco comes over, brings the baby, puts the baby in Blake's lap. Boom, done. Blake will be a dad in nine months. Over. I don't. <laughs> so I think that's the plan. We set him up. I don't think Mark. I don't know if Marco's going to come. I don't know who he's mad at. To be honest with you. Yeah, I don't know who he's mad at either. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's got to be somebody at work. I mean, maybe family member. Uh, it's, I don't think it's us, but who knows? No, and, what, what will we have done? Maybe you and I. Maybe you or I talked out of school on a podcast or something. I don't know. No, we didn't do that. No, <laughs> Margaret mean, doesn't even listen anymore. Probably not, because her 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 son in law is not a is not. No, he's not on. He's not right. He on gave anymore. up. Yeah, he quit her. Quit. Yeah. Walk, walked out. So, but I right. no. But Marco said he was uh, sometimes when he's driving the truck, he'd listen to us. So, you know, maybe we we, yeah. we huh? should watch our P's and Q's. <laughs> <laughs> a little late now. Uh, a little late now. A little late. Yeah. So anyway, I uh, I also ordered a uh, food while we were on the oh, uh, such podcast. A, uh, you're such okay. a shit ass. No one ordered no. Shane, Shane's rib shack. Listen. <laughs> yeah. Listen, people. This is this is what how he much he cares about you. He can't just put all of his huh? attention into one thing for fucking forty five minutes. No, He's got to right. like be like reading texts and sending yeah. snaps and. Ordering food and whatever the hell else. This is this cool. is this is yeah. the respect we get. This is this is why yeah, I, I can multitask. I'm I'm a multitasker. You know, but maybe you should uh, Oh god, this alcohol. We gotta we gotta <laughs> maybe we should stop drinking. <laughs> why? Uh, I feel like I was, this is two nights in a row. I feel I feel great going in. I feel great during, but then the downfall is the after. Yeah, I didn't have any problems last time and, and even yeah, though I'm a little I'm a little sweaty right now. Uh, <laughs> that this that this uh that this oh, was another God. safe one for me. I'm not gonna have any all right. Repercussions. I got nothing else left, and my Shane's is coming, so I got boneless wings and fries to eat. Well, I'm just saying, like, let's try a podcast where we uh not only do we have a couple of adult beverages, but like you just kind of like put all of your attention into one thing. 
and see if that. Oh, ends. I told good. This I was flowing with my story today. You are you're ridiculous. How am I ridiculous? You you listen. This is probably why Marco quit. Oh, explain. You and your neediness. Neediness. <laughs> No, we had a deal, and I'm, I don't. I have no neediness beyond just showing up and doing the thing, you know. Yeah, that's not very needy. No, I don't know. I mean, it's All not right. like I'm a baby that needs like an ass wipe and a diaper change and a titty to suck on and a and like attention and like you know yeah, yeah. Sesame well, Street and like education and and new clothes and. I'm pretty low maintenance compared to like all the other burdens in his life. So yeah, this is true. You know, let's, let's, all right. Let's keep it real over here where we always keep it real on the, on the furlough the, files uh, podcast episode right. 202, 202 202 and, and wow. And 200 of the influence. So, uh, all right. Yeah, two hundred. If, if you're running low on stuff, we're going to drink again on the next one. Cause I, all right. Cause, uh, yeah. Sounds good. It flows better. I do flow better, so I will say that. I I, I would make a joke that we should uh, we should get a sponsor, uh, and we could yeah. we could do their stuff every week. Ah, maybe I can arrange that. Let me see what I can do. Let me all make right. a, let me make a call or two. See what you can do. All, all right, right. Goodbye. All right, fat I'm boy. Listen, let, don't no. You don't close the show. What? I close the show. You don't close okay. the show. I close the show. All right. I'm done with you. Bye. All right. Goodbye.